Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today, once again, I am going to discuss about how to calculate the inverse of a matrix by adjoint method. In the previous video, I have shown how to calculate the inverse of a matrix for 2 by 2 matrix, which was very simple. And this is also very easy. Once you go through, watch the whole video, you will be able to solve any uh, question which is based upon the 3 by 3 matrix and ask to find the inverse of a matrix by adjoint method. So guys, uh, without any further delay, let's get started. So, again, the condition for the finding the inverse of matrix is same. The matrix should be non-singular. That is, its determinant should not be equal to zero, which I have discussed in the my previous video. Also, link is in the description. You can watch it. And uh, so, first of all, we need to find the inverse of the given matrix. Sorry, determinant of the given matrix. And uh, if its determinant is not equals to zero, not equals to zero means our matrix is non-zero, and then only its uh inverse is possible and whenever this uh, we are asked to solve uh, or find the inverse of a matrix in exam then it means uh, the matrix will be non singular matrix it is sure so now uh, write down the solution here solution and let us calculate the determinant of matrix a so determinant of matrix is uh, matrix is represented by two straight lines so draw a line here and write down the element of the matrix that is 4 1 3 minus 2 5 0 and 3 2 4 now we can calculate this determinant simply uh, way either you can uh, calculate taking this elements of this row or by this column I am uh, solving this uh, uh, calculating the determinant of this matrix taking this considering this raw so first of all uh, let us cover all the raw and column in which this four lies so four lies in this and this this column and this raw and uh, all remaining elements are 5 2 0 4 so when we are multiplying downward diagonal element downward then it will be positive and upward it will be negative so 5 times 4 will be 20 and this upward 0 times 2 will be minus 0 now time for second element that is minus 2 so whenever we are taking this middle element this element then we need to put negative sign negative sign and then we need to multiply uh, with that element minus so here we will have minus 2 And uh, multiply this with uh, remaining element so this cover this and this we will have 1 2 and 3 4 so multiply 1 and 4 so it will take positive 4 positive 4 and minus 3 times 2 will be minus 6 because we are multiplying upward this is downward 1 and 4 is downward so positive and 3 to 3 is multiplied with 6 so minus 3 is multiplied with 2 so minus 6 up it is upward and uh, here also we need to multiply this with 4 and again now time for this so here it is taken as positive only this will be taken negative so we have already put negative sign and positive now multiply with 3 and cover all the a row and column in which the three lies so three lies in this row and column we have remaining elements one five three zero so multiply one with zero we will have zero and three with three times five will be minus 15 because we are multiplying upward now 24 times 20 will be 80 and on, on solving this we will get minus and two times two will be four and uh, here we will have minus 2 and minus 2 minus minus will get plus and again it is multiplied with this minus so minus 4 and plus 15 times 3 so it will be minus 45 so on solving this we will have 31 which is not equals to 0 so we need to write a line here since determinant of a is not equals to 0 so uh, it is non-singular non singular 
matrix and its inverse inverse is possible now if you have watched my previous video then you will come to know that inverse of a matrix inverse of a matrix a inverse will be equals to adjoint of a divided by the determinant of a we have already calculated the value of determinant of a now we need to calculate the adjoint of a so how we can calculate the adjoint of a also adjoint adjoint of a equals to cofactor cofactor of a and its transpose and its transpose so uh, now we need to first of all find the cofactor of a cofactor of matrix a so cofactor of a will be equals to so again I, for finding the cofactor i will need to uh, to sign pen so first of all i am finding the cofactor of this 4 so 4 uh, if we are finding the cofactor of 4 so cover 4 and uh, multiply all the remaining elements that is 4 5 is multiplied with 4 and 0 is multiplied with 2 5 is multiplied with 4 which will be positive and 0 is multiplied with 2 it will be negative so let us rewrite the elements here cofactor of 4 will be given by 20 and this minus 0 0 times 2 will be 0 now this is minus 2 so cover this raw and column in which the minus 2 lies and multiply with the remaining element so 1 times 4 will be equals to 4 4 and minus 3 times 2 will be equals to 6 now cover this 3 and multiply the remaining elements 1 times 0 will be equals to 0 and 3 times 5 will be minus 15 now time for second raw cover the raw raw and column in which one lies so we have remaining elements minus 2 4 0 and 2 so minus 2 times 4 will be equals to minus 8 and 0 times 2 3 will be equals to 0 so minus 0 now cover the raw and column in which this 5 lies so 5 so 5 lies in this column and this raw multiply 4 times 4 will be equals to 16 so 16 and minus 3 times 3 will be equals to 9 again cover this uh, now time for uh, the cofactor of element 2 so uh, cover cross cover all the row and column into the two lies so two lies in this column and this row and remaining elements are 4 0 3 and minus 2 so multiply 4 times 0 will be equals to 0 and 3 times minus 2 will be equals to minus 6 and we will need to put negative sign uh, while multiplying up so minus and minus will get positive 6 now time for this cofactor of the 3 element 3 so cover the row and column is 3 lies so we have remaining elements minus 2 2 5 and 3 so minus 2 times 2 will be equals to minus 4 and 5 times 3 will be equals to minus 15 and uh, here now it could time to cover this element 0 so 4 times 2 will be equals to 8 and minus 1 times 3 will be equals to minus 3 now cover this and this so we will have here remaining elements will be uh, 4 5 1 and minus 2 so 4 times 5 will be equals to 20 and minus 2 1 time minus 2 will be equals to minus 2 and minus will multiply with minus so it will get plus 2 so again rewriting the elements of this a then we will have here and before rewriting let us put the symbol uh, while finding the cofactor of a all the elements which occupy which occupy the diamond position this elements which makes form takes the form of diamond this pattern its sign are changed means positive will get negative and negative will get positive so uh, we need to put a symbol here that is uh, here it, it is going to be we will so put here minus sign again here minus again minus and again minus now let us let us rewrite the cofactor of a 
so we will have here 20 and 4 times my 4 minus 6 will be minus 2 and minus and minus will get positive 2 similarly here we will have minus 15 and here we have minus 8 minus and minus get plus 8 and 16 minus 9 will be equals to 7 and here we have 0 plus 6 6 and this minus will get minus 6 and we have here minus 19 and here we have 8 minus 3 equals to 5 and minus 5 this minus will get multiplied with plus 5 then minus 5 we will have here and we have we have here 22 so this is the cofactor of a now adjoint of a is very simple so let us quickly calculate the adjoint of a and adjoint adjoint of a will be equals to cofactor of a and its transpose so why how we can calculate the transpose simply interchange the raw and column raw and column so we have here 20 8 minus 19 2 7 minus 5 minus 15 minus 6 22 and it's transpose so now interchange with raw and column first raw becomes first column so 20 2 15 second row becomes second column so 8 7 minus 6 and this third row becomes third column so minus 19 minus 5 and 22 now this is what we will we need to do for calculating the adjoint now time to calculate the inverse of a matrix so as i told you in the video that uh, we have inverse of a matrix a equals to adjoint of matrix a divided by its determinant so we can write it as we have got the value of determinant as 1 by uh, determinant value was 31 31 and uh, the elements uh, adjoint matrix matrices are elements are 20 to 15 0 8 7 minus 6 minus 19 minus 5 and 22 now uh, you can leave it up to here also or you can rewrite it as uh, 20 upon 31 we need to divide each and every element with this 31 so 8 by 31 you can leave it up to here also in exam or you can write one more step that is minus 19 by 31 2 by 31 7 by 31 minus 5 upon 31 15 by 31 minus 6 by 31 22 upon 31 it is up to you how much you have time remaining in the exam that much we need to write in exam and uh, now i hope you understood this video and see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself if you are enjoying the video on this channel then do share this video with your friend so that they will also get help from you and uh, see you in the next video